Howdy with this video. Just want to go over week number seven, make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, basically, we're going to be working on revising that self-regulated learner essay uh, into the final version that I'm then going to grade. Um, well, first, I want you to look at your graded paragraph number two uh, that I sent via email. I'm doing this video on Tuesday. I'm going to send that to you tomorrow. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions regarding the grading or my commentary. Uh, if you don't understand something that I marked, you know, please let me know. Uh, but if you don't have any questions, we're done with paragraph number two, and I'll post those grades tomorrow. Um, for the second task in the bulk of Wednesday, uh, you should be revising that self-regulated learner essay. Again, I'm going to return those to you tomorrow, tomorrow being Wednesday, um, hopefully before you get to class. Uh, a little behind on grading right now, but I should be caught up tomorrow. Uh, but again, you got to let me know if you have any questions about my commentary. I'll be online uh, in D2L from 4 to probably about 5.30 or so. Uh, you might want to go back and look at the videos if I say something about the MLA formatting or something like that. Or maybe look at the instruction sheet if I say, hey, you're missing the summary or something like that. Uh, so you can go back and go like, okay, what's that? Uh, and you do a little review there. Um, but if you're going to revise the draft and submit the best final version of the self-regulated learner essay that you can. Uh, if you weren't able to submit a draft, do the best you can on that essay and go ahead and submit it. Uh, this is the last, <laughs> we're done, right? This is the end of the bridge uh, writing program or the bridge and the bridge program. Uh, this week. Uh, so go ahead and do the best you can and submit it. Keep in mind, uh, if it's not 100% perfect and not exactly what you wanted, uh, kind of let it go. Uh, bridge writing is kind of letting you know where you may need to you know, pay, pay a little more attention to what's going on. It may, may, may mean you need to tell us, hey, you know, I'm having trouble doing this because uh, you're not giving us enough time for something. Or um, So, you know, it's all kind of a test run for all of us. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Kind of, kind of let it go a little bit if you didn't, if it's not quite what you want. It's um, part of uh, college level work is kind of doing the best you can, submitting it for the grade, and and, and just kind of saying, Hey, I did my best, but got to move on. There's something else coming up, right? Um, make sure uh, you make a note to bring your grammar workbook to class on Thursday if you if you if it's not in the classroom. Uh, once you give those to Dean Trent, uh, that's Melissa Trent. I don't know what she has, uh, as you all call her. Um, but she's the dean of mathematics. You got a heavy hitter working for you there. Um, uh, but make sure you bring those uh, grammar workbooks on Thursday so she can bring them back and I can uh, review them for the grade. And of course, you know, feel good after one Wednesday night. You, you got this essay in. Uh, you survived. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yay, right? Um, think back to the way you felt that first time we came up there and you, we just piled all that work on you. <laughs> you might as well just, you know, pulled in a dump truck and <laughs> emptied it into the room. Uh, but you're still here, you're, you're working through it, uh, and we're moving on to the college level courses soon, right? Um, for Thursday, I want you to complete the exit survey. I'll post that in D2L. I'll probably also send it as an email attachment and just put that into the assignments Dropbox folder. Uh, and really, I uh, just want you to give that grammar workbook to Dean Trent. And, and that's kind of it. It's kind of a short, uh, I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Dean Trent's coming up there to show you my math lab. That may take a while to, to make happen, so I want to make sure she has plenty of time to uh, do that. Uh, the grading note there, uh, the plans for me to grade the self-regulated learner essays, uh, review the grammar workbooks, and post final grades uh, for the bridge course on May 12th. Uh, that's, I think that's when you're all coming back for the EDUC 1030 course, or is it 1010? I'm not sure. I might have the number wrong there. Um, uh, but again, this uh, bridge course doesn't carry a grade like the upcoming Comp 1 class will. Uh, but it's kind of nice to see kind of where you're at and, you know, see something for all this effort, right? Uh, and that's kind of what the grade's going to represent. Uh, but again, the, the idea is that we're getting ready for Comp 1 with this course. Uh, not saying, I am an A or I am a B or wh whatever. Uh, that's going to be determined in the college level courses. Uh, for, the, for this exit survey, I uh, just want to get a sense of, uh, of what you're thinking <laughs> and what your situation is. Uh, just asking some basic questions. You know, are you able to work outside of class to do reading assignments or writing assignments? Um, I'm not sure what your all schedule is, and I guess it's probably different for everybody. And I, I just, I just don't know, and I kind of need to know that. I don't want to overload or expect you to be able to do something in Comp One uh, that you're not able to do, right? Uh, and I am scheduled to do the Comp One course uh, over the summer, so looking forward to that. Um, but just kind of answer these questions. If there's something you think we, uh, I need to know, uh, let me know. Uh, and like I said, some of these answers might be different for different people. 
Uh, but kind of interesting. What kind of interesting to see what was the hardest part about completing that self-regulated learner essay? Was it just uh, you know, I got locked over in a build, different building and I couldn't get to the classroom and now I'm all, all behind. Uh, you know, it, it's, I don't, we're going to have to plan for things like that. Um, uh, not everything's going to work out perfectly, even for comp one. Um, kind of give you a sense of the, cor of the course. We're going to work on three major essays. Each one's going to have a research component. Um, we'll come back and review MLA formatting and all that when we get to comp one. But I'm, I do kind of expect you to kind of remember a little bit of it <laughs> from the bridge writing, but not all of it, of course. Uh, it's not really material you keep in your head all the time, the, the MLA formatting. Uh, but from what I've read, uh, from what I've seen you all writing, you should be able to do well with these essays. Uh, but I am kind of want to hear what kind of concerns you might have uh, about completing the essays. Um, a couple of students have already uh, said, you know, my typing skills are just, I'm, I'm so slow on the computer. Hopefully EDUC 1030 will help you with that. Uh, but keep on working on that. That's not a, that's not a skill that's, you're, you're, that's going to go away. You're going to need that for all your college courses. Uh, especially where they're all online. So we we'll keep working on that. Um, and it just takes practice. Uh, and, you know, you build your speed and learn as you go. Uh, do ask about one particular essay. I want to know if you're going to be comfortable with that. Uh, if the answer is no, that's fine. <laughs> I, we, I can do a different assignment. Uh, but it's kind of a favorite assignment, and we can use the library databases. So uh, we're already cleared to use those. So that's kind of why I'm asking there. But if, if you're not comfortable writing about yourself in this way, let me know. Uh, and then I want you to kind of talk about some good things that you've learned about the bridge program. Uh, kind of, you know, end on a happy note, right? Uh, and, you know, you have learned a lot. Uh, just from, again, seeing you that first day, uh, people just shell-shocked and looking at the computers and trying to make them work. And hopefully now you're getting a little more comfortable and uh, feeling good about how where things are headed. Uh, but that's about it. Like I said, I wanted to keep this short. Uh, this might be my last video. I'll look forward to seeing everybody in Comp 1, and I appreciate everybody's uh, hard work in this bridge writing, just staying with it and, and, and being determined to learn and work through problems. And, again, make sure you articulate problems. I, I can't help you if I don't know what the problem is. I, mean, I, I may not be able to help anyway, but at least I'll be able to try, right? Um, but uh, I, we'll see you, I guess, at the end of May. I'm not sure what the date is. Uh, might be the 1st of June. I'm not sure. Uh, but you're going to do the EDUC 1030 course um, over intercession, then for the full summer session, we'd be doing Comp 1 and uh, statistics and the, uh, the learning support map. But I'll look forward to seeing everybody in Comp 1 if I don't see you uh, until then. Uh, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.